Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone so take what fits and leave the rest out. The Ace of Cups has popped out here. Uh, somebody is having a burst of emotions or overwhelming feelings here. Okay, we have... Healer of emotion. Yeah, this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions with open your heart, allow love and grow to bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience. Something is triggering someone's emotions at this time. Okay, almost feeling uh, uh, this newfound uh, emotion that maybe they haven't expressed before or they've not really dived into is what I'm picking up. I'm afraid to contact you with, I love you. Oh my goodness. Yes, Capricorn. Somebody is all up in their feelings now. Okay, a little concerned. Uh, afraid to contact. Overall energy magician. As above, so below. This is about making things possible. Having what it takes to achieve our desires. Make it happen. So we have Knight of Pentacles. Page of Wands and the full card for your energy. So you are kind of uh, lighthearted this week. I see that you're trying to take things with a grain of salt because things have been very rough. You feel like you've not seen anything come of things that you've invested in. This can be financially here or uh, in regards to love. But with the Page of Wands, you're having this spark in your intuition that this is just a knowing that something's coming that will benefit your life, uh, that if you keep sowing these seeds and put hard work and effort into it, you will receive the rewards from it. So it's kind of like just throwing your thoughts and feelings out the window. And this week, uh, you feel a little bit lighter. You're starting to feel like you're leaving it up to fate because you know that you will reap the rewards of whatever you are sowing. So if you have been going through a really tough time, this is telling me here that, uh, you know, don't lose hope because you're going to be guided by the universe and your intuition will tell you better times are ahead, okay? Two of Pentacles, the star and the judgment card for their energy. For the judgments, they are feeling like there's an impending decision. There's something that needs to be done. Regardless of how they feel or what has happened, it's almost this thing that's looming over their head is the energy that I'm picking up. Because of the two pentacles star, they haven't lost out on hope, but at the same time, they've not really uh, made action or effort into uh, making change happen. So let's see this judgment card. They're contemplating at this moment, wishing that you both weren't two worlds apart or there weren't so much separation between you two. Here are fonts. They've not really done the right thing, okay, in this situation. They know this, but they're craving something more than they did in the past. A lot of them are wanting to commit or wanting something more stable here, something that they can count on. Uh, instead of having everything kind of up in the air or feeling like they can never be with you the way that they want. Tell me the hair finds. King of Wands. This person is very passionate about you. They do have a vision here. A vision of a future, but they're just not sure how to get there. Uh, let's see what's happened in the past. Three of Swords. Uh, King of Pentacles. Strength and the Seven of Wands. So there's a lot of things that were done that left scars uh, on your heart in the situation because you felt like you could trust this person and they let you down. It really feels like with the strength seven of wands, this person was always trying to be about themselves or trying to keep you at bay, uh, not allowing you to receive love the way that you want, uh, even though you've given it fully. Okay, with the King of Pentacles, they could be solely focused just on work or um, their home environment, finances. It took a lot of strength to hold themselves back from you because they felt deeply connected to you from the very moments they got in this. Uh, but I see with the Three of Swords, there's a lot of uh, discrepancies here. 
not clear communication as well as miscommunication. So things that were said that could have been very hurtful but were not meant to be that way. Also, some of you, uh, they were projecting, okay, their own pain onto you here. You were triggering something inside of them. Uh, tell me the Three of Swords. Three of Wands, okay. Some of you, this is a third party. I can see this. Can be a uh, place or thing. Doesn't have to be a person. Now we have the Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. So there's a lot of chemistry here and a lot of love. But what I don't see happening is a lot of action. And it felt like you were always waiting for your ships to come in. You would wait patiently, do more. And in fact, uh, sacrifice a lot from yourself just so that they could be happy or more comfortable or they would get their needs met without you getting anything in return. Okay, so let's see this Eight of Wands. Three of Cups, yeah. Now we have three threes, so it was difficult for those of you in a third party. This person felt like they had to choose uh, what was right or responsible of them, not what made them happy, just what they felt that they already had gotten stuck into versus uh, this connection. And for a lot of them, it was due to not wanting to lose money, not wanting to lose what they have made up until this point. There was a fear of another person for some of you here as well with the Three of Cups that they feared the other party would take all of that away from them, everything that they had invested. So we have the Six of Cups, Hanged Man, Six of Wands, and the Nine of Cups for the challenge. Yeah, it felt like you know, you were constantly having to live in fantasy land because you weren't getting anything in the 3D realm. There was hope that kept this alive on their end and yours. But I see with two worlds apart here, if it is a third party, it felt like there was a lot of living in the fantasy realm, trying to figure out a future, how this would work. But was this too good to be true? Were they eventually going to choose you or choose to be with you in this connection long term? With the Six of Wands, uh, it's kind of like no matter what, towards the end, they had to sacrifice you so they could win. Uh, and it was because they didn't want to lose something that they had really put time and effort into. And a lot of them, it is the King of Pentacles, their job, right? Or their finances. Also, I see Hanged Man, Six of Cups. There is a lot of, you know, reminiscing from the past. I do see that this is a soulmate for a lot of you. And that's what made it so difficult to be torn away and not be able to be with your soulmate during this time because of a third party or another thing stopping it. It just seems so unfair. And I see both of you contemplating constantly, even though there was no speaking or separation, uh, thinking about the what ifs and also feeling like it's not fair, right? How can two soulmates not come together here? That is the feeling, hanged man, six of cups. How can this be possible? But what I don't see happening is this person taking the rose colored glasses off and going, I need to figure this out. I need to come up with a way to make this possible so that it's fair for all parties. Uh, tell me the nine of cups. The moon card, it really started to weigh on you. Your emotions, uh, the stress of this was overwhelming because you started to think, well, were they just tricking me all along? Do they really feel the same way about me? I'm not too sure. But it was because of your own journey and what was going on in your life, especially some emotional things that you have been through that they were triggering as well as you were triggering for them. So I see that it became very confusing and it really was kind of murky towards the end because you almost didn't feel like was everything that I was seeing really true? And that's a very disturbing feeling. Okay, if this is your story. This is very hard to go through because you have no answers. You have no truth and uh, you know, you really can't get to the bottom of things. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands for what they're about to do. So we have a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Finally, now you're about to see something come to fruition that you have desired for a very long time. 
uh, and you're going to be quite surprised how this unfolds. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me, Capricorn. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.